Attach the whisk to the mixer. And very carefully to not lose any aggregate, pour your aggregate into the bowl. And wipe clean your tray, or as clean as you can get it. So now you can take your spoon and form a crater into the aggregate. We're going to be uh, dispensing the binder into the bowl. And when you put the bowl on the scale, make sure you tear it out so it reads zero. Take our spoon and steer the binder. So we're going to add the binder. I'm going to get to 200. Now I'm going to let off. I'm going to go slower so I don't ask to not put in too much binder. However, if you do put in too much binder, you can always remove some. With a paper towel, you can just dab the binder out. We're gonna put our mixing bowl onto the mixer. You wanna have the, the one with the two on the left side when you're looking at the binder, and the other one on the right. And to get it on the mix, you have to just kind of slightly tilt your uh, bowl forward and then up around the, the whisk so you don't get it caught on there. Put it in place. A little magnet here and you want it below this little rod otherwise your mixer won't start. Uh, turn the lever to raise the bowl. You have your set time of two minutes. Hit the start button and while that's mixing you want to clean your tray out. You want to apply some Pam as a, or any type of oil uh, to prevent the asphalt from sticking to the tray. And I also like to put my tray back in the oven so it's hot. Tap the whisk a little bit because you get rocks stuck on there. Dump the asphalt into the tray. And while you're doing this, you can put your bowl back in the oven to keep the asphalt hot because when it cools down, you can't work with it anymore. You need to work with it hot. So now we take our heated spoon and we can mix up the asphalt the remainder. And when you use a spoon, you'll notice you have uh, material sticking to your spoon, so you can take your, your knife here on your hot plate and uh, use that to remove any excess materials, like fines. Now we're gonna clean the bowl out and the whisk to ensure that we get all the fine and the asphalt I like to use a, a, a spoon that's not hot when I clean the whisk, because that way when I scrape it, as long as the whisk is hot, it will, the asphalt will fall from the whisk and stick to the spoon. So we're gonna use this spatula right here. This is where it's really important to have long sleeves um, because as you're reaching your hand in there, you notice my arm where my glove is not extended. It can easily, my elbow can easily touch this bowl. I'm gonna put this back in the oven for a few minutes to let it heat up enough so I can uh, effectively mix it. Okay, so now we got all our material in there and ready to go. For the lab, we're just going to go straight to compaction. Okay.